So we have to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers losing to Cincinnati Bengals. I want to do this really quickly. There are other games I want to watch today. I didn't really want to watch this one, even though I'm a Steelers fan. I just didn't want to watch it because I knew it was going to happen. Uh, ben Roethlisberger's arm is, I mean, he averaged 5.5 yards per completion today. And on their side, Joe Burrow averaged 9.6. That's the difference between a young quarterback and an old quarterback. Ben and his offense cannot throw the ball downfield. Chase Claypool's talent is being wasted to some extent. Uh, if you could get this, I mean, this is a guy who should be going down. The, the connections Pittsburgh had between Ben and Martavis Bryant during his brief stay in Pittsburgh. That era is what we should be seeing right now with Chase Claypool. Something like that. And we're not. Because Ben's arm is not anywhere near where it needs to be. This offensive line stinks. Everyone already knew that. Uh, can't pass ball. Can't run block. There's basically no point running the ball. You might as well just do check downs. You might as well just do... Four yard in routes, out routes, or slants because that's more effective right now and more efficient than running the ball. Najee Harris, 14 carries, 40 yards, 2.9 yards per carry today. Uh, it just, just doesn't make any sense. There's no point in doing that. You might as well just throw the ball in the entire game. <laughs> really. And you say, ah, oh, you run the ball, I keep the defense honest. No one cares. No defense cares. No defense is worried about Pittsburgh running the ball right now. They don't have to be. So, running game, not Najee's fault, by the way. Not Najee's fault at all. The offensive line is just not good. The offensive line is no good. Uh, now, Jarrett, by the way, great game coming out of the backfield. Uh, 14 catches on 19 targets for 102 yards. Uh, one of those targets, though, um, one of those catches I'm having a bit of a problem with. So, fourth and then play. Pittsburgh needs to go for it. They need to score one, basically, if they want to stay in the game. And they throw the ball to Najee Harris. Basically, I don't think he gains any yards at all. And he's swarmed by Bengals immediately, and the game's over. Uh, yeah, terrible play call. I think part of the issue with that was they expected... The Bengals to do something differently with their linebackers. Some of the guys were close to the line of scrimmage. Didn't necessarily expect them all to drop back the way they did it. They expected some of them to come on a blitz. That would leave more openings for Najee Harris to create, uh, create yardage, maybe in a one-on-one -on -one situation on the outside, once we had to catch. That's not what happened. He ended up facing up three Bengals and getting tackled for no gain. So I, I can understand that's not necessarily a terrible play call, but well, no, never mind. It's a terrible play call either way. It's a terrible play call either way. I understand the execution was supposed to be better. I understand why, where it went wrong, but it was still a terrible play call. The play calling has been horrible for this team. And I'm basically repeating everything I said because I'm a Clemson, I'm a former Clemson student. So I'm repeating everything I said today for Pittsburgh that I said about Clemson yesterday. The play calling is hardly predictable and bad. You cannot push the ball downfield at all on the pass game. You can't run the ball because the offensive line is bad. Defensively, you're banged up, super injured, missing your best players, and it's just hinders your ability to accomplish anything. And the secondary. The secondary is just not... This Pittsburgh Steelers secondary is not very good right now. I mean, because Pittsburgh was terrible last week. It was better this week, Grant. It was much better this week. But this secondary has been bad. And Terrell Evans, by the way, good pick. I'm glad he got the interception. Terrell Evans is the guy who was much improved last year based on where he had been previously. But this secondary, the coverage right now, even with Joe Hayden back in the, in the game, back playing after missing last week, uh, secondary is not good. I understand Joe Burrow only threw for 172 yards. He only passed the ball 18 times. He had four incompletions today. So, and he three touchdowns. He had three touchdowns on 14 completions on 18 pass attempts. And Joe Mixon carried the ball 18 times for 90 yards. And it's just, it's a bad defense right now. Because you're missing a lot of guys with injuries. I get it. Stephen Tewitt's not there. T.J. Watt's not there. Uh, I understand guys are banged up. Guys like Hayden and Bush. I understand everything's, all the injuries, all the banged up players. I get it. But... Do you believe this is going to get better? It's probably not going to get much better. Guys are going to keep getting injured throughout the year. As things go on, people are going to get injured. They're going to get re-injured. Pittsburgh have won the time position battle significantly. Cincinnati had the ball for 24 minutes and 38 seconds compared to Pittsburgh with the ball 35 minutes and 22 seconds. And we lost decisively by 14 points. Could have been 11 points. We had kicked the field goal there. Let's say we would kick the field goal and it would have been 11 points at the end of the game. Still two scores. Uh, so I'm... I'm holding out hope for the defense because, again, the injuries, guys will get back. We've seen guys like Minka Fitzpatrick start the season slow before and then turn it on. So I'm holding out hope for the defense. Uh, I'm ready to throw it in the towel on this offense. I might just be watching the defensive series from now on because... Uh, yikes. <laughs> It's just not fun. It's the same offense. Same issue we have for the past three years. Going back to when Ben Rossberger missed the entire season. The offense is just unbearably painful to watch. It hurts to watch the offense right now. 
And it's been that way for two years, going on three now in this season. It hurts to watch this offense with how mediocre it is. That's probably not going to change.